I'm an INFP and since getting more in tune with my inner children, I've realized that they need a schedule to be able to feel relaxed. How interesting. As they get easily get stressed over all there is to do, they need to know that I've said uh, I've said of time for it. I've I've said some time for it. I have made a few schedules over the last few weeks, and I've quite successfully parented themselves them when it comes to perfectionism. Yay! Excellent. But we still tend to overestimate how many things we will be able to do, underestimate how long it, time things will take, and not, and not make sure that there is time for unexpected things that will turn up, like my outer children getting sick and so on. Yeah, absolutely. I love outer children. Now this is like inner children are just such a normal word here that now it's outer children. It's actually your biological children. Yeah. And when reality doesn't fit the schedule, my inner children give up, uh, gives up, give up and lose their trust in me yet again. Okay. It seems to me like planning and structuring are their strengths, not my inner adults. Mm -hmm. So will it have to be their process and is my responsibility then to parent them through it or is, is, or is there a way to do it without relying so much on my inner children? What are the things INFPs need to make to make a schedule that works? Okay, love this question. Love the amount of detail because it gives me quite a lot of background. Thank you for asking this question. So first of all, as an INFP, you have extroverted thinking as your, your inner three-year-old and introverted sensing as your inner 10-year-old. Introverted sensing loves things being predictable. Loves things being predictable, absolutely. Extroverted thinking loves things being organized and effective. It sounds to me, you know, you're saying you overestimate how many things you'll get done, underestimate how long thing, things will take, and then when unexpected things crop up, it's all going to it's, go, it's all going south and then your inner children have a reaction. It sounds to me like it's your extroverted thinking that part of you that's having a reaction, which is, you know, we made this schedule and now there are, you know, other people are trying to ru <laughs> ruin it for us or, you know, things, you know, it kind of shows to the inner three-year-old, which probably did the schedule to begin with, that she that she's done a bad schedule that she's made a mistake and an extroverted thinking doesn't like to think that they make mistakes so between your extroverted thinking and your introverted sensing you your inner children really need structure and predictability now your grown-up part of you embrace everything except for that <laughs> So they embrace emotions, authenticity, exploring new ideas, new things, you know, taking whatever time you need to take to go down that particular rabbit hole of thought. So your, your, your grown-up part of you, you're absolutely right. They don't like too much structure, and that's fine. But then, of course, the challenge becomes, you know, how do you... How do you offer structure to your inner children that will make them feel safe and at the same time live an authentic life experience? So for you, Mari, I would say make sure that when you're taking your schedule out, that you're, it is your authentic self, your introverted feeling that actually fills out the schedule, then asks for the extroverted thinking for input, the three-year-old, for input on the schedule that your authentic self has created. So the inner three-year-old, the inner child decision maker can have input on the decisions that you make, but they don't get to make the decisions themselves. So I hope that that answers that question for you. That's a really good, that's a really fantastic question. And, and just continue the conversation down below in the in the comment section if you need to continue on it. But that's generally what happens with INFPs in your kind of situation. You know, you your inner three-year-old wants to do all these things and expects everything to go perfectly. And then when something doesn't go perfectly, he or she, or they start to think, I'm not perfect. I'm not good enough. I'm not, I'm a failure. And it's not, you're not a failure. 
the inner three-year-old is not a failure. It's just that they, as because they're a childlike process, they don't have the foresight. They don't have the foresight to think, hey, you know, I might be, I might be expecting a bit too much here, you know, um, and that's why the adult uh, grown-up or the grown-up uh, decision maker has to actually make the decisions, and that's why the three-year-old or the the inner child decision maker gets to support um the the decision that the grown-up has made all right great question mm -hmm.